welcome to day 26 of 365 days of clay cups and uh, had a great day today did a, did a bisque firing and you've already seen that video it came out on your the day 23 but today it actually happened for me today uh, everything came through nothing exploded it was actually quite nice so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and throw the 26th cup and trim the 25th cup so I hope you enjoy This one was actually centered, so it wasn't a real good example of what I meant, but... Now, AS Ceramics says to bring it up like a volcano. And he does... <laughs> When you watch somebody um, do their hand motions and they do it in one, I, I don't quite exactly see exactly see how the hand positions are. But I get the idea of bringing it up in, into a volcano. I understand where that's at. And then you also said that I'm bringing it up. My fingers are positioned like an S. See if I can do this. Hopefully, ah. Ah. my hands are too dry. This cup, I wasn't focusing on time. I really 
want to make a nice, see if I can, how high I can make my cup go. I turned the music down, so hopefully that videos aren't going to be blocked. I didn't want to have music in my background. But I realized I have to talk through it so that it doesn't get kicked out. <laughs> well, this is Brian Crane. Beautiful piano music if you ever care to listen to. Toasty now. Okay, I have a question. This is a flat surface tool. And I want to make this rounded. I want this to look around. Like, well, you know what I'm saying, a smooth curve. But when I do it, I see little tiny lines. And when I watch the videos, I don't see any little tiny lines. Are they, I don't know if you guys can even see my little tiny lines, but I have little tiny lines showing up as I slowly go around. How, how do you do that? How do you make it so the lines don't show up and it's just perfectly smooth? Is it the consistency of the clay? Is it, is it the tool I'm using? Now I'm going to try a little something. Twenty-five. The most 
first handles I've ever made ever. So all I know is it needs to be narrow in the center and wider at the top. Can I handle? I had an idea for a handle, but I don't think my coil is the right kind of coil. Obviously too big. But I'm just gonna check it out. Okay, this is kind of where I'm heading. Kind of like this. I made it curved here so it would hug the cup, and I made it pointed there. And I'm just going to uh, score and slip that, and then hopefully get it to look like that. This is a little tricky because you have a shape. I don't want to ruin a shape. I should be thankful it's cold in my shop because I think that's what's saving my handles from coming off. They're drying extra slow and it makes it, I think it's making it a lot nicer for my cups to have solid handles. Something is missing, so what I'm going to do is I just found this tool. I think it's something that goes in my husband's shop, but I already put one on this side. Now I just need to match it up. That's it for day number 26. Wow, what a great night. I was able to uh, throw two cylinders that turned out awesome. They were a pound and they, they both ended up really tall, so that was really exciting. Um, the little cup that we put a handle on, I just think it's so cute. Oh, I like it a lot. So we'll just have to see. I know that handle's going to stick. It just felt like everything worked out real well tonight. So hope you enjoyed it. Have any questions or comments? Put them down in, in the comment section below and we will see you tomorrow.